In 1950, a man with mutton chop sideburns and Victorian era clothing popped up in Times Square. Witnesses said he looked startled and then a minute later, he was hit by a car and killed. The officials at the morgue searching his body found the following items in his pockets. A copper token for a beer worth five cents, bearing the name of a saloon which was unknown even to older residents of the area. A bill for the care of a horse and the washing of a carriage drawn by a livery stable on Lexington Avenue that was not listed in any address book. About $70 in old banknotes business cards with the name Rudolf Fenz and an address on 5th Avenue. And finally, a letter sent from a Philadelphia address dated June 1876. None of these objects showed any signs of aging. Captain Hubert V. Rim of the NYPD's Missing Persons Department tried using this information to identify the man. He found that the address on Fifth Avenue was part of a business. Its current owner did not know Rudolf Fenz. Fenz's name was not listed in the address book. His fingerprints were not recorded anywhere, and no one had reported him missing. Rim continued the investigation and finally found a Rudolf Fenz Jr. in a telephone book from 1939. Rim spoke to the residents of the apartment building where Fenz Jr. had lived, and they described him as a man of about 60 years who had worked nearby. After his retirement, he moved to an unknown location in 1940. Contacting the bank, Rim was told that Fenz Jr. died five years before, but his widow was still alive and lived in Florida. Rim contacted her and learned that her husband's father had disappeared in 1876, aged 29. He had left the house for an evening walk and never returned. The story was published a number of times in the 70s and 80s as fact until 2000, after the Spanish magazine Masala published a representation of the events as a factual report. Folklore researcher Chris Aubeck investigated the description to check the veracity. His research led to the conclusion that the people and events of the story were all fictional and wasn't able to find the story's original source. Pastor George Murphy claimed in 2002 that the original source was from either a 1952 Robert Heinlein science fiction anthology entitled Tomorrow the Stars, or a September 1951 publication in Collier's magazine titled I'm Scared, and authored by renowned science fiction writer Jack Finney. With the facts at hand, it appeared the story was nothing more than published entertainment. So everyone thought. No copies of the story have ever been found, and Finney died before he could be questioned. In 2007, a researcher working for the Berlin News Archive found a newspaper story from April 1951 reporting the Fens incident. This newspaper archive was printed some five months before either Heinlein or Finney released their work. What's even more compelling? A number of researchers have claimed to have found evidence of the real 29-year-old Rudolf Fenz and proof of his disappearance in 1876.